Dave Berg was just a normal guy from Chicago with dreams of making it big in the television industry. His start was definitely not considered glamorous, and maybe even the opposite. I started out as the, um, uh, the farm reporter at uh, WFRB in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I was from South Chicago. But it was an open job, and you just so sort of go through whatever window. For instance, if you want to be an entertainment reporter, it might, you might get there by being a farm reporter. You never know. Afterward, he moved his way up in the business, becoming a producer for NBC News. But his run there didn't turn out as planned. Sometimes you have to take a lemon and turn it into lemonade. What happened to me? Not that it'll ever happen to you, but I was <laughs> fired. Oh. I was fired at, at NBC. They, they let me go. And uh, it turned out that the office where I was was right next to The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. And they, they hadn't started up their show yet. They were two months out. And uh, I, uh, m I called my wife and said, gosh, Jay Leno's right down the hallway. And she said, that's great. Why don't you go down and meet him? <laughs> right? I didn't want to do it because I had never been in entertainment. But right. I, I knew that I couldn't go home and face my wife if I didn't go down there. And I was hired two days later. Wow. Yeah. And then the co-powerhouse for NBC's The Tonight Show was born. But for the new entertainment producer, it wasn't exactly easy from the get-go. We really had to start afresh because Johnny Carson, this was a new host. Mm -hmm. So we had to create our own show from the bottom up. And it's very, very difficult. Plus, it's a very public entity, right? You're having television critics constantly critiquing. The television critics said, I remember one week after our show was on the air, they said, this show isn't up to snuff, the guests are terrible, fire all the producers. So you have to have kind of thick skin too. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, they didn't fire the producers. <laughs> there you go. But it didn't take too long for Berg to adapt. But mistakes are guaranteed to be made along the way, and the stress was guaranteed to hit. There is a lot of production, there's a lot, a lot of, you know, getting the right shots. Right? You, you need to get the right shots. If you're, if you're on a talk show or something like that, you need to get the right elements. And by when I say elements, props for the segment, fun pictures, things like that. That's the producer that does all those things. If you've, if you've booked an Olympic medal winning athlete, always remind them to bring their medal to the show. One time I didn't. And that wasn't good. Oh, no. <laughs> because it's all about visuals in television. All about right. it. After 18 years on The Tonight Show, Berg decided to continue Jay Leno's legacy through the creation of his book, Behind the Curtain, an insider's view of Jay Leno's Tonight Show. And of course, being an author has its perks. Talking to you. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't, best thing in the world, right? Doesn't get any better. Re <laughs> but, but really right now, we're, um, we're emphasizing the book and promoting the book. You don't sell a book unless you're constantly promoting it. So we're doing that, and we're signing a deal with the Orange County Register um, to be a, a weekly columnist. But will the former producer ever go back to working with Jay in the future? I don't think so, because I, I, I've, I've sort of finished that part of my life. It is a bit stressful, mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to the next part of my life, which is being a commentator, a, a columnist. With the stress in his past and not in his future, the once farm reporter's legacy with The Tonight Show will continue to live on. For ZTV Akron, I'm Jen Danzak. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.